What's up everybody? Welcome back to the OG family. Make sure y'all smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel only if you want to. But look, my beautiful people, we got this. Amanda Sales is no longer on the reel. She quit the show. How many of y'all seen this coming? How many of y'all seen this coming? But before we do that, you know what I'm saying? Make sure we get this video right here. If y'all like the video, just like it if you want to. Uh, get this video right here to over 3,000 likes. That's all I ask. You feel me? But at the end of the day, let's get into this video though. Let's see what's popping. Everybody, welcome to the impressive channel. The co-host from The Real, Amanda Seals, recently came out and said that she no longer will be on the show in the next coming season. Amanda revealed that she did not renew her contract because she doesn't feel comfortable in a space that won't allow her to freely voice her opinion when it comes to black issues. Now, when Amanda first joined The Real, she was met with a lot of resistance from The Real's fan base because Amanda is not like the other co-hosts on the show. She's very vocal when it comes to racial issues, and I do believe her voice on the show was very necessary, especially when it comes to the climate that we're in right now. I thought Amanda brought a lot of great things to The Real. She helped elevate the discussion on the panel, and she even encouraged some of the other co-hosts to speak more... That's a hell of a lineup right there, though. Let's not just skip over that, though. But at the same time, though, look. Can y'all see it from that perspective, though? Because I feel like on that show, they do try to skim over and desensitize certain things. But you just can't skim over certain things. Like, you have to meet them head on. Because if you don't meet those things head on, and she did a good job. Because people will like to downplay stuff about the black culture and stuff like that like like don't try to downplay us like we haven't been through the most the most <laughs> for real you know and yeah only about on race that. and social issues on the show however a lot of viewers of the show did not like amanda for various reasons they didn't like her facial expressions because they felt like she was being rude when she would listen to the other co-hosts they also felt like she was beefing with some of the co-hosts as well. In fact, they tried to create this issue between her and Jeannie. And, and I mean, you and Jeannie have butted heads in a couple of different times. Have we? That just kind of goes... Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because you know what? We're it not comes to territory, we are, right? No, that's not the territory Thank we're you. coming from. Yeah. We're not butting heads. And I think it's very, very important, especially yeah. at a table of diversity. <laughs> Look! Hey! Old girl from Tia Tamira, like, she's trying not... Did y'all see her face? I'm going to take this joint back. I'm going to take it back a couple. Did you see her face? She was like, oh, bitch, this bitch about to go crazy. Look, I'm telling you. That's what she was on. Like, all right, we see it coming. We know probably that a lot of these women on this show right here had some tension with this woman. She don't want to blast everything out there, but you can see it, man. Come on, man. They weren't feeling her. Right? No, that's not the territory look, 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 yeah, look at her we're face. We're not butting heads. And I think it's very, very look, important look, to look, look, look. a table of diverse women. Wow. To very clearly de delineate the difference between having a difference in opinion than butting You see how they they zoomed out of her face, though? They didn't want to show her no more. So they want to zoom into the conversation and stuff. Smooth move. But we, we can tell that you were trying to deflect something else. You don't know when I'm butting heads. Why do you all think that someone sitting somewhere... And looking up like this and listening means that they don't care. But at the end of the day, like if I'm looking up and I'm listening, that's really what's happening. And I think that there's so many folks that uh, would really just love to see conflict. So they will really just decide that like, oh, she must not be wanting to hear what, 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 what the other ladies on the reel are saying. It's like, no. So as you can see, Amanda was in a mm. position where she had to address her critics because she got a lot of criticism. Also, a lot of fans of The Real, especially a lot of the white fans, were very uncomfortable when Amanda Seals would talk about race. Now, Amanda is very vocal when it comes to black issues in particular because that's something that she's very passionate about. So when she would bring light to that, people had issues with it. And I don't understand why, but they did. So I can imagine that Amanda may have had some talks with the executives from the show. They probably pulled her aside and said, hey, you might not want to talk too much about this. Our viewers are not receiving you well. So I can imagine that happened. I'm not saying that it did, but I can imagine they pulled her aside and said something to that effect. 
Even though The Real is hosted by women of color, it's never been one of those shows that's been controversial or one of those shows that have consistently touched on sensitive or serious issues. The Real didn't even post about the Ahmaud Aubrey discussion they had on their YouTube page because it's a sensitive topic and they knew YouTube couldn't pay them for it and also they didn't want to offend some of the viewers who watched the show. But I just saw the video of the 25-year-old young man, Ahmad Arbery, in Georgia. And they have video of him being gunned down <gasps> by these by these two white men with guns who felt that he was running in their neighborhood and they needed to go take him out. And they have video of it. They have video of them taking this young man's life. And he's literally just jogging through the neighborhood. And they cut right. him off with their truck. And he's running, and they shoot him in his stomach, and he's right. trying to keep running, and he falls to the ground. And I sit here every day on this show, and I go in our comments, and I see people say, why does she always talk about race? Why do we always talk about black people? Why are we always talking about, why can't we just sit up here and have a good time? Because things like this are actually happening. Now, the that shit right there pissed me off to a whole nother level, man. That get me to a whole nother level right there. Like, just think, man, if we were to have that thing about us that it just make us start, like, gunning down just random white people and stuff all the time, like, how the world would change. Would it just be, like, the United States against black people or something? Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like you gotta think where that shit can go to. You know? Like, but honestly... It's just to a point where, y'all, I mean, the United States is pushing us black people to a different point, man. Like, I feel like, and a lot of us, I think a lot of us feel this way. We don't care anymore about this whole threat with death. I think other cultures are more afraid of death than us. We are so accepting, like, look, like we're, so, we're so used to this death thing, man. Like, we might as well do what we want to do. So y'all better stop playing with us, man. Like, like, like that. That it is what it is at the end of the day, man. Like that right there is sigmund. Fuck my stomach up. Fuck my mind up. I'm cussing in this video because I'm. I just feel that type of way about that, man. Like. Uh, well, never posted this discussion on their YouTube page, and it's clear that they're careful about putting certain topics out there because they want to walk on eggshells when it comes to real issues. The Real is not like The View. It's always been more of a lighthearted show. So when Amanda came on there, she did kind of shift the direction of the show. And I think in a lot of ways, she challenged some of the other ladies to be more vocal when it comes to social issues. And I like the fact that she was able to do that. But the fans of The Real weren't all too pleased with her presence. And she was constantly nitpicked and bullied by some of the fans. So I do think that Amanda just decided, hey, you know what? I'm tired of being in this space. I'm tired of the people up top trying to control my voice. And I'm tired of these fans getting upset every time I talk about issues that are important to me. Right. So she did not renew her contract. Yeah. I am. <laughs> look, bro, look. I can't stand this dude right here, bro. Just because of power. Y'all seen the series Power. I can't stand this nigga, but I, I don't like him, bro. I don't give a damn what, what like, bro, if I see him in a real life, bro, I would not like you, my dude. The Rock. Because you play I that role. Because my, I don't like you. My contract is up at the real and I did not. You was cheating with Tasha? Like, I'm tight, bro. <laughs> Which, because it doesn't feel good to my soul to be at a place where I cannot speak to my people the way they need to be spoken to and where the people who are speaking to me in disparaging ways are not being handled. Mm -hmm. I'm not in a space right, where though. I can, as a full black woman, have my voice and my co-workers also, also have their voices and where the people at the top are not respecting the necessity for black voices to be at the top too. So, yeah. you know, you reach a point, like even when it just comes to Hollywood in general, You've seen me transform into a way that I just can't function in this place the same way. I can. They play it by the mm -hmm. and my People are like, Amanda, you need your own show. I want a show called The Big Seals. That's what, if I'm going to do a show, it's going to be called The Big Seals, and I'm going to be talking to my 
I'm gonna have my characters, and then Brandon gonna come on. My and characters. Gonna shit. I'm gonna have my characters. My characters. <laughs> you know, like, and it's really gonna be rooted in the awareness of my autochthonous beings and understanding that, you know, one thing I love about Brandon and one thing that has kept us bonded, like Brandon and I have been bonded since 1998. Like we had no January 5th, 1999. That's when we met. We met January 5th, 1999. And we have been tight ever since. And I think on a basic level, it's because we both come from the same mindset of like, whenever we create as artists, it comes from two basic bottom lines and needs to serve our creative hearts as well as give the people social change. It needs to meet those two standards on a basic level. And I think for a lot of folks listening and watching, it's like, look at what you do in your life, and you do need to identify, like, what are your tent poles that you make moves on? Because I know a lot of us do shit just for bread. Yeah. Yeah. And there is That's a true. luxury true. in not having to do shit just for bread. That is a full fact. Like, I, I am so... I, I, I have gratitude every morning. I wake up with gratitude every morning that I... Most people just do shit just for bread, though. You know? People that wake up in the morning, you don't like your job. You're clocking in. You're doing it just for the money. You don't like your job. I would say a good 80% of people doesn't... They do not like the jobs that they work. Challenge me. Put in the comments down below myself to I've I've created a life for myself where I don't have to do things just for money where I can be like y'all can keep that out of here um but I think a lot of that has also come from like my own confidence that like I'll find the bread you know in a in a manner that serves me so in that video Amanda confirmed that she did not renew her contract and also she's not that pressed for money to stay on a platform that does not suit her she did also hint that somebody behind the scenes was talking in a disparaging way towards her and they were not checked. So that's also why she won't be returning. And I do hope she goes into detail about that on her podcast, Small Doses. Now, there are some people who don't believe that Amanda decided to end her contract. Some people are saying that maybe Amanda was fired. Now, I was scrolling on the Neighborhood Talk To on Instagram. Shout out to them. Under the comments, Amanda did say this, laughing my tail off at the second picture. That was the day I decided. Y'all should have known it was a wrap when I showed up on daytime television with three corn rolls. Protect your peace, y'all. Now, one person in the comments said she had a three-year contract. Hmm, she was fired. Amanda responded and said this. I don't know what sickness exists in these folks that they feel the need to, one, throw shade on strangers, two, speak about things they don't know. I hope you get the vaccine, though, because you are incorrect. She also said, you know what's trippy? We've been so conditioned to assume the worst, expect ulterior motives, and catch folks in lies that even when folks state things plain, so many attempt to create alternative narratives than just accepting what's been said as what is true. Real ones know I do not lie. 100 all day. F this Hollywood game of fraudulence for fame and much love to y'all who ride with me and wake up every day to be our best selves. Fight the power. So that was Amanda's response to people saying that she got fired. And I think she was speaking generally as well. She was speaking more so about what she said in the video. She's just over the fakeness in Hollywood and she wants to move on from the real. Even though I'm going to miss Amanda's presence on the show, because I do think she added a lot to the show, I do think she's better suited for another show. Like I said before, The Real is really a talk show that discusses lighthearted topics. And every once in a while, they will touch on controversial issues. But for the most part, they try to stay away from that. And Amanda Seals is not the type to censor herself when it comes to real issues, especially issues that affect black people. So I do agree with her when she said the show is just not the best platform for her. So I do wish her the best in all her future endeavors. And I wish the other ladies the best as well. Anyway, tell me. Yeah. All right. So bet. So look, at the end of the day, I feel like she did the right thing for herself. 
Um, and she will always be able to have a platform. She will always be able to have something, you know. And I like the type of person she is because it's not all about the money. It's about the agenda. It's about it's about it's about everything else about success other than money. She wants to get a message out there. She wants people to know what the hell is going on, and she wants them to see it from the perspective of a black person. On that show, it's not really like they're really representing us in, in a proper manner. I feel like she is that one for us. But at the end of the day, man, I wish her the best. I wish her much success in her endeavors. Everything, anything she starts, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I'll be ready there to support her. But as long as it's the right thing, first of all. But uh, see you in the next video. Like I always say, man, spread love because it's too much hate in this world. Love you guys. See you in the next video. And I'm out, though. <laughs>